So I'm back once again guys for another Roblox UGC related video. I know I've been making like tons of these. Actually do you guys remember not too long ago I made a video about that UGC Dominus where it was like multiple parts combined together to make this like custom Dominus thing. Well yeah this video is kind of like a part two on that but this video is even more crazy and even more funny. So the very first thing I want to show you guys is this. People are not only uploading multiple UGC items to make Dominuses they're now making federations as well. So we can see this guy here tried to make a Lord of the Federation. So a star creator, well, what a surprise, uploaded a blue Federation recolor set. Okay, this one's not too bad. So you have to wear it with one of the original ones, like the golden base. And that one's the Duke, right? But it does make it look like the Lord. Ah, oh, I see what they've done. So they combine these with Duke of the Federation. And then you can see, oh, wow. Yeah, they really look identical. You can see here, they basically look the same. Right, I can see what they've done there. Here you go. So I just found a picture of the Duke. What they're trying to do is turn the red one blue. I guess because because the blue one's like a lot more expensive. This one's 69 million, still very expensive, but this one's over 600 million. So yeah, that's kind of smart. They might have to delete these though. Up next guys, we've got another one. Oh yeah, this one's even worse. So this was the same guy that made some Dominus wings. Okay, I don't think I've seen those yet. Anyway, he's made a whole Federation hat in four different parts. Again, kind of smart. So here are all of the IDs. I don't know if these have been archived. If they haven't, I guess I could try it in a game. But if you guys were wondering, this is what it looks like anyway so we can see yeah it's basically a federation more of a custom one though because it's got these sort of like moon parts going around the sides you know what i kind of like that but yeah this is a bit of a rip off i don't think it's ever good to go on sale here we are guys this is what it looks like on avatars by the way so i guess it's not made that badly just clearly yeah it's a pretty bad rip off moving on guys oh this was that dominus thing they were talking about and these guys were kind of sly because they renamed it content deleted just hoping roblox wouldn't find it to be fair though it looks a bit stupid. It looks like some yellow sort of head and then it's got eyes on the top. Some weird like blue band and then you can just see there at the sides it's got the Dominus wings. Yeah, this item's a bit strange actually. Apparently it still exists though. I guess Roblox might delete this eventually. Oh, this one was kind of interesting. I guess this isn't really like remaking something using multiple parts but we can see here this guy Wolfie Dev. He uploaded some Clover phones and what he ended up doing was just like copying the middle band section like from the clockworks. It's like exactly the same. They used like the old clockwork mesh or like the original mesh right and then just sort of transformed it into their own clover phones kind of smart but again it's still kind of copying roblox right maybe they thought they'd get away with it i don't know people are going crazy over the clockworks look at this somebody made star versions of like the clockwork stuff so the clockwork heart phones we've now got the star phones and for the clockwork shades we've now got the star shades i guess roblox never made like clockwork heart shades did they so that's kind of interesting i would normally test these out in a game but they don't really look look that good to be honest they look a bit cringy all right guys this is the main thing i wanted to talk about in today's video shout out to pqgc by the way they've posted most of this stuff but look at this right i can't believe somebody wanted to remake this user ven vez or something made a star creator called ancient mercury to upload the magna spectro inspectors parts to make a knockoff version of it so obviously this one's very expensive limited they also content deleted the parts or like fake content deleted it you know they just renamed it to try and hide it from roblox but it turns out out these parts do still exist. Now some of you guys probably realize why this is a bit of a fail or incredibly stupid and I'm not really talking about how they tried to like you know rip off a limited item. These guys copied Fave's shades. Yeah this item has been stained. It's got a ruined legacy. Fave ruins this thing forever for me. Honestly I can never look at this limited the same way again. You guys know the YouTuber Fave right and what he did. Yeah very dodgy. Very very odd guy actually. Very very strange. Yeah he did some disgusting stuff trying to like date his fans obviously they were children and yeah pretty much these were like his iconic shades like he was a pretty big youtuber like you know i'm just being honest even though his videos weren't very good he was still famous even until this very day guys i sometimes hear people say that fave made good videos he didn't like let's just be honest he didn't i'm not even trying to be mean there he just straight up didn't but yeah this guy felt the need to rip off fave's shades like oh my god that's a bit of a fail yeah look at this why would anyone want to recreate this like you're just gonna look like a weirdo if i see anyone wearing this inside of a game i'm avoiding them they're still selling for 900k i think they used to be more then they used to be like 2 million or something then the price dropped i could be wrong about that but i don't quite know credit to them for using the original steampunk shades for 550 though i guess it's nice they incorporated like a real roblox accessory but i don't know just remaking this just seems a bit stupid to me this is an item that should be forgotten about i guess <laughs> oh man yeah here's their avatar i can see what they were 
trying to do. I think they were trying to make this cool, like, looking vampire kind of dude. But I don't know. It just still looks like Fave to me. Right, here's Fave. I don't know how he's not banned, but let's do a comparison. Yeah, they look the same. Like, these two items really do look the same. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is an incredibly rare item. I didn't realize how little there was of this. The demand for it, it's terrible, though. The value also a lot lower than the best price. So, yeah, I would honestly say just, like, avoid these. Never buy them. In a way, I guess it's kind of sad because it's not really the item's fault. But yeah, let's admit, Fave did definitely ruin these. Actually, if I scroll down and take a look at the resellers, so yeah, this item is very rare. This guy's wearing it? Why does this guy's avatar look kind of odd? <laughs> what the heck? Why does it look like Fave and EDP combined together? God, this thing is cursed. Also, I literally just found out, guys. Look at this. Roblox has started deleting a ton of these, like, UGC limited copies. So from Roblox UGC moments, Roblox has purged a bunch of UGC limited copies and add-ons. So yeah, those add-ons things, they're getting deleted slowly. It's going to take Roblox a while, but we can see here they did remove quite a few. Mostly fedoras and like federation add-ons. Oh, maybe they did delete most of them then. They've deleted a ton of shades copies as well, except for one of them. But yeah, that's interesting for sure. So just keep in mind, guys, if you ever want to buy a fake limited, make sure you go into your messages and make sure you have like refunds turned on. So if one does get deleted, then you definitely get the money back. So yeah, if you guys take a look at my message, Messages. This is on my James 5 account, but you can see I've got a ton of refunds recently. So yeah, maybe check, make sure you've got your refunds message enabled. Somewhere I might even have one to show you guys. What the heck? I've been getting so many refunds over the past five months. Refunds for private service? Wow. I didn't realize I got so many. Oh, this is what the agreements look like anyway. You guys know how to do this. You just click on agreements. Then on this page, you basically just click on I agree. Then it comes up saying request submitted. And yeah, then you're done. You can click on close and you should wait a few days and you're probably going to get some refunds. I reckon that a ton of you guys are about to get a lot of Robux in refunds. Yeah, take a look at this tweet from Peak UGC. Basically what happens, right, all of these UGC creators or star creators that were uploading limited knockoffs or copyrighted assets just got kicked from UGC. Yeah, they full on just got kicked out of the program. I don't know if it's permanent. I don't know if it's like six months or two years. Who knows, right? But all of these guys got kicked. So Roblox finally awakened from their slumber and kicked a bunch of UGC creators. And they also deleted a load of items. So let's see who was kicked. We've got Virin, Borgist, Wolfie Dev, Duncan Mod, Dillus Roblox, and Devourer of Bread. So all of these guys here were kicked. Even the guy that made the copyrighted Lego head, he got kicked as well. Maybe for copyright reasons, I don't know. This guy clearly got kicked for like recreating limiteds, whatever. So yeah, definitely an interesting bunch of creators. Oh, before we finish today's video, guys, I do have an update about Roblox Fave. Now I know he hasn't uploaded on YouTube for a very long time, maybe coming up to like two years or something insane. Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw this video by Green Lego Cats. He uploaded this three weeks ago. He called the video the creepy music of Roblox Fave. I don't know if you guys have seen this video yet. If you haven't, go and watch it. It got a lot of views, so most of you guys probably have. But long story short, Fave had a SoundCloud account. Yes, as well as managing a YouTube channel, he was also trying to be a SoundCloud rapper. He went by the rapper name Fetty Fave. I'm not sure if you guys have heard his music before. I'm not going to play it in this video because it's very disgusting and inappropriate. Yeah, a lot of the lyrics in his music was just straight up awful. Like, it was horrible stuff. He was saying some really terrible things. Well, we have an update on his SoundCloud account. It was actually banned. I know his account was breached and hacked at the time, so I'm really not too sure if the hackers just, you know, deleted it. They went into the settings and just, you know, wiped the account. Or maybe the SoundCloud moderation team saw Green Lego Cats' video and they decided to terminate it. Either way, right, we can't really tell, but yeah, for one thing, it's banned. So I guess Fave is not going to be uploading any more rap music anytime soon, and good riddance, I guess. That's crazy how SoundCloud banned Fave's accounts before Roblox and YouTube. That is so strange. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's it. That's everything for today's video, so leave a like, subscribe if you want to. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.